I've got some mystery boxes with random art supplies. I don't know what's in here, but I'm gonna try to create art with whatever's in one or both of these boxes. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, so let's go. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here. And regular subscribers, you guys already know the color pencils are my faves. And I love doing color pencil drawings on this channel. But I definitely also want to experiment with other art supplies. So I'm starting this series on my channel called Temi Tries. You know me, I love a little bit of alliteration. And cue a mystery box. That's what's kind of scary about a mystery box because I don't know what's inside. I don't know that I could create something good. Like it's actually scary. But it's also given me the opportunity to try new art supplies that I wouldn't necessarily naturally reach for. And I don't have to fully commit to it yet. So if I really like any of the contents of this box, I can choose to buy more. But I'm ready to get into these boxes. I'm excited, I am scared, but let's go. I have two boxes here. I'm going to first unbox, see what's inside. And I guess we'll go from there. I have a second camera set up here. Look at me properly YouTubing or whatever. So this is box 13 and this is box 23. Share your unboxing to win more loot. You're getting closer. Thank you for having you on board. Thank me for having me. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's pirate themed. Yeah, Um. I didn't get the memo. So we'll get into this in a second. But let us see what's in here. Oh no, acrylic paint. <laughs> oh God. Um, I feel tears coming in my eyes. And I don't mean to be dramatic, but what am I gonna do with what am I gonna do with acrylic paint? Okay, so we've got the titanium white, Chinese blue. I don't understand what this is. Is this my canvas? This tiny thing. Okay. Oh, these look like really nice paintbrushes, actually. Nice of you to project. Hang on a minute. If they provided me with this pencil, are they suggesting that I can only use items in this box for whatever art I produce? Like are you for real? I don't know what this is. Is this like mixing palettes? Ah. This is difficult. Oh my God, let me not break a nail. This should not be this hard, what the hell? Yeah, that was very difficult. Um, okay, I guess they're mixing palettes. I don't know why mine is there either. Okay, so this is a paint liner, 3D. I'm starting to feel like I've made a mistake. So that was box number 13. Let me see what's in the other box. And this is box number 23. Now this is actually hard. Uh, okay. Now this looks more like my vibe. I'm seeing some pens, I'm seeing, okay, 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 okay. And I said to myself, have fun. I'm too competitive to have fun. Okay, firstly, the supplies. This is giving me bullet journal vibes. Is this a gold? Okay, you know what? I think I can create calligraphy with this. Like who is creating actual art with these? No offense if you are, but I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, is this like a collaboration? Oh my God. This is cool. So there's a magazine with like information about each supply. And I guess it's an artist collaboration box. This is very cool. I am here for this. Oh, and actual tutorials on how to like blend and layer and stuff. That is very nice. You know what? That is cute. That is cute. Oh, okay. So this is um, a sketch pad. Now that I know what's in both boxes, I guess it's time to test them out. But before I do, you would have noticed I had two very different boxes. So with Upgrade, you can actually subscribe for a future box or you can buy any of the old boxes. So I have box 13 and 23. This video isn't sponsored by the way, but Upgrade did reach out to me to give me these products, which is very kind of them. And they also provided me with a discount code for my subscribers. So that's Temi15 if you want 15% off. And now let's get to testing these out. Starting with an HB pencil, and we have three shades of the Tombow brush pen. And can I just say the paper quality is very smooth. I don't think I've ever used smoother paper in my life. Then we have these two Sharpie pens, and I was expecting like a Sharpie permanent marker, but I was pleasantly surprised at how nice these apply. Next, we have this very thin fine liner, and then this gold pen. I am so sorry to everybody, but this gold 
is everything. It is everything and more. Obviously, I had to shake and pump to get it out, but after it was flowing, it was smooth. And look at the shine. We need to give credit where it's due because this thing is beautiful. Anyway, those are all the pens from Box 23. I like this muted color scheme with a pop of orange, but now let's move on to swatch in Box 13. I forgot to open this pouch in the unboxing earlier, but it just has a few bits including information about the supplies in the box. Also, I've just realised that from when I unboxed this earlier, I missed out on a bigger piece of wood. So I could do two completely different types of pieces on each canvas. So I'll be swatching in the smooth sketchback from the other box. The first thing I'd just like to say is this paint 3D liner thing. I am ready to order more of these. Look how smooth it just comes out. So I was a little bit scared at the start because I thought it was like a paint pen. So I thought I might be restricted. But the fact that I can put a lot of this in my mixing bowl, but I can also apply with precision from the point. Now I've never seen anything like this, but I am in awe. So first impressions with the swatches. I am not really here for this color scheme. It's given me abstract and I'm hella nervous <laughs> trying to even figure out what I can do with this. I'm really racking my brain. I cannot imagine what to do with this color scheme except for I go for a completely abstract vibe, which really is not my vibe. But I guess this is an opportunity to try something new. But here I am just swatching the colors. So I've got a main opaque swatch and then I've slightly watered it down as well. And now I'm adding white to each of the colors just to get lighter tones. If I'm going to be real, I'm not mad at these swatches. In fact, I'm really here for these lighter pastel kind of tones. But looking at that paint water, now I'm thinking, what if I mix these colors to try to make a purple? And on first impressions, it's not really mixing. <laughs> All I'm seeing is blue. Magenta and cyan or red and blue makes purple. So I'm still curious as to what kind of purple I can make. That is a stunning purple, pardon, pardon. I'm so sorry to everybody, but that purple, you know what? That's probably why they put this shade of pink and this shade of blue because this, no, I'm actually gassed, what the hell? This is beautiful. As you've just heard from my real-time reaction, that purple is beautiful. If you know anything about acrylic paint sets with like the primary colors, the red and blue would always make a muddy purple. So I'm here for this box actually having the right shades of these colors to make a very nice purple because this purple is chef's kiss. Now I'm seeing more potential in what I could paint. This color scheme has given me clouds, a cute sunset. I'm feeling a landscapey vibe, you know? And honestly, I'm really impressed with these swatches. The purple is giving me all of the life. Box 23 is cute and all, but I think it'll be much more challenging for me to try to create art with acrylic paint on this tiny canvas. I hope you have faith in me because I don't got faith in me. <laughs> guys i'm actually scared i don't mean to sound dramatic but i don't remember the last time i held a paintbrush to use acrylics of all things and limited to the blue white and pink on wood anyway sure uh, we have to try something so the first thing i need to do is to try to find inspiration i'm just going on google to see if anything matches the color scheme of my swatches Honestly, I'm not really feeling the vibe of anything. I mean, I wish they included a warm color like yellow or orange. I feel like I could really create a nice painting with that. But this picture has caught my attention, so I'm going to give it a try. With this painting, I'm just going to be real. I don't have a clue. Not a singular inkling. <laughs> I don't know how best to tackle this. And guys, I have not picked up acrylic paints in nearly 10 years, oh my God. And I'm pretty sure this is my first time painting on wood as well. So starting out with the top, 
my general vibe with acrylics is just to use minimal water i don't know if this is the right kind of technique but i've just applied this quite strong shade of blue i tried to add some pink to make it a little bit of a dark purple but i'm still not feeling this blue however i'm going to leave it like this at least for now and i'm trying to introduce some faint clouds i can see in the picture but i really don't think i have this technique down at all do i need to wait for the blue to fully dry first i don't know now for the middle section i just want to introduce some more lighter blue tones and more purple and as you can see with the way i'm applying i'm just almost mixing on my canvas and i've heard that's not a good thing to do but what i've clocked is these tiny mixing bowls are not good enough they are not big enough it's so hard to actually use this for any mixing i think it's probably fine if i wanted to mix a big dollop of each color but since i want like different tones yeah it's just not a nice process and another thing that I've clocked about acrylics here. Yeah. Who on this planet has the energy to be mixing and mixing and mixing till thy kingdom come? Like, how do you get the right shade the second time? It's literally impossible. Every single purple I mixed on this piece is a different purple. <laughs> and how do you get around this? If I was using color pencil, I'll just pick the purple pencil. <laughs> so yeah, this is a mess. And what's so interesting about this dilemma actually is that I'm only trying to mix two colors. So imagine, imagine the amount of skill it takes to try to mix a whole bunch of colors i have a newfound respect for painters because it is not easy guys so yeah here is what the painting is looking like so far i actually like the pink tones i have at the bottom i think it's just so pretty and so pure just so cute i'm here for it but i can see that in some bits where i'm watering down a little bit i can kind of see the wood through and this is not necessarily a bad thing. Guys, imagine if I had like kept gaps of the wood so that it almost came through as warmth. So obviously I don't have a yellow paint, but then the warmth and the brown of the wood is, is kind of given a yellow vibe. Yeah, I wish I had thought about this earlier because now it's slightly too late, but I'm still kind of here for this base I've got going on. Now cloud time and once again I'm almost 100% sure I do not have the right technique. <laughs> I think I definitely need practice with acrylics, painting, blending, painting on wood, this and that. Because obviously some of these clouds don't need to be stark white, they need to be like a light purple, a light blue. It just feels impossible if I'm going to be real. See how I'm just swapping through each of the mixing bowls? No technique, just vibes. <laughs> And this is where I was in the ugly phase. You know that part of the drawing where you are ready to give up? I was ready to throw it in the bin, if I'm gonna be real. But after coming this far, I was just like, you know what, even if this is a fail, I think I just still need to persevere. I speak so much about perseverance in my videos and I need to lead by example. Even if this turns out to be the worst painting of all time, that's fine, I'll take the L. In a month's time, if I practice, I'll be able to do a better job. In a year's time, if I practice, I'll be able to do an even better job. So it's all good. To be honest, I'm still proud of this piece. It's my first time using acrylics for a landscape piece. And also with such a limited palette, I think that was probably the most challenging part of this whole thing for me because it made my reference choice very restrictive and honestly I wasn't ecstatic to paint this I wasn't inspired by this picture but I just felt like I had no choice because of my colour limitations I'm definitely feeling this purple more at the top rather than the blue I had and it adds just a little bit of a gradient feel. I wish the rest of it was smoother, it's given me very rough vibes but I think it's time to add the final finishing touch which are the white dots. I kind of think it kind of ties it together, I'm gonna to be real. What in the world? Is it everything I must ruin in this life? See, if I was using colour and pencils, and I don't mean to always bring colour and pencils into this, but that would never happen. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not too mad at this. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think it came out kind of cute. 
Hey guys, so this is Editing Temi here. I have just clocked that this upgrade box was meant to have a theme. So I'm just looking through this bag, making sure I've included all the information. And was I meant to read this? It's time for acrylic paint, it's time for mediums, blah, blah, blah. Let it out and paint your perfect artwork for this month's battle, Beauty of Madness. Pardon? Well, it says posted to Instagram by 25th of October, and I guess I've missed that deadline anyway. But Beauty of Madness, I guess we can say the chaotic madness of this turbulent sky. Yeah, guys, I have no clue. <laughs> and obviously it's too late because I've literally already done the art. But I just pop back in here to say, my bad. So yeah, this video was slightly chaotic. I guess that's the beauty of madness. Clearly, this mystery box thing is not my bag. <laughs> Will I do another video? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more. And don't forget to use code TEMI15 if you also want to grab a subscription. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.